Good morning, boys and girls. I'm so glad to be with you this morning. I am missing your faces. Wanted to let you know I'm praying for you and thinking about you all. And uh, this morning, I wanted to talk about gifts. How many of you like to get presents or gifts? I bet that's everybody, right? Maybe you can think about the best gift that you've received. Um, I had my birthday a few weeks ago and Miranda made a painting for me and she knows that I love Snoopy and so she spent time making me this beautiful Snoopy painting and I just love it and I was really excited when I got it and now I have it hanging on my wall in our living room and it's so fun to get gifts and to be um, excited for things that we open and unwrap but you know not all gifts are gifts that we have to unwrap or gifts that come in a box. Um, God has given you and I some of his most precious gifts and most special gifts can't don't come in a box or in wrap. And one of those gifts I wanted to talk about this morning, since it's Mother's Day, is the gift that God gives us of our family. And, you know, boys and girls, God loves you and I so very much. He is our Heavenly Father, and He gives us good gifts. And from the time we were tiny, the Bible says that when God formed us in our mom, that He was thinking of us, and God is always thinking of us. And He wanted to, He knew that we would need someone to take care of us here on earth. And He gave us our moms and our dads, He gave us our families. And maybe your family doesn't look the same as someone else's. Um, my family, I was raised by my grandparents and my grandmother was like a mom to me. But whatever the family is that God has given you, um, we can be thankful because it is one of God's best gifts to you and I. Um, when we're tiny, you know, your mom changed her diapers she kept you safe maybe she rocked you to sleep she fed you and now that you're getting big and getting older there's other things that she does for you maybe she helps you with your homework maybe she takes you shopping to buy the clothes that you need or want she does she reads stories to you maybe she tucks you in at night but our moms are a huge gift to you and I from God. And we can be thankful for the gift of our moms. But did you know in Exodus chapter 20, God also gives us a command about this gift that he's given us of our parents. Listen to what he says. He says, honor your father and your mother. So God's word tells us that we're supposed to honor our mother and our father. Um, and ways that we can do that can you think of some ways that we might honor our mother and our father? How could we do that? Maybe by speaking kindly to them. It's tempting sometimes when they say something we don't like to come back with attitude or to say unkind words to them. But when we show honor, we speak kindly to them and we speak with respect. Another way is to listen to the things they ask us to do to obey. Maybe they ask you to wash the dishes or help to um, make your bed or some other to task like putting away toys. And when we obey and we do that with a good attitude, we're showing honor to our moms and our dads. And we can also show honor by not lying to them or being disrespectful or saying unkind things. Maybe you can think of some other ways that you can honor your mom, especially this Mother's Day, um, and ways to honor your father. God's word tells us that there's a promise. To, God gives us a promise attached to this command too. You know that throughout history, there are people who have looked for um, different ways to stay young or to live longer. And way back, they there were people who used to look for a fountain called the Fountain of Youth. And this was a fountain that somebody 
said existed. And so people would look all over for this fountain of youth because they thought if they found it and went into it and got the water, that it would make them young again and that it would prolong their life and cause them to live longer. But God doesn't tell us about anything like that. And today, people try different medicines and serums and all kinds of things um, that usually we see on TV to make themselves live longer. But you know, boys and girls, God gives us his formula, formula for living longer in his word. And it's in that verse, that command that God gives us, honor your father and your mother, and this is the promise, so that you may live long in the land the Lord your God is giving you. Boys and girls, God says the way for you and I to have a long, a good and long life is to honor our parents, honor our father and our mother. And God's promise is when we do that, we'll live longer, we'll live a long life. And you know, today, I hope that you'll f look for ways to show honor to your mom and to honor your dad and that you would be a boy or a girl who shows honor to your parents. And then God says his promise to you is that you will live a long life that he has for you. Uh, so thank God. Let's thank him together actually right now for the great gift he's given us of our parents. Dear Lord, thank you so much that you love us, that you're always thinking about us, and that you give us good gifts. And Lord, I thank you for the gift of our parents, our grandparents, those who take care of us. And I ask, Lord, that you would help us to honor them, not just so that we might have a long life, but Lord, because it is good and it is right, and we are thankful for them. We love you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen.